Hey everyone, uh, it's part two of Cringetober, so this is drawings six to ten. Um, starting off, the prompt for day six was unnatural eye color, um, and I have a couple characters that could fill out this prompt uh, pretty easily, but I decided to draw Polaris, um, who's one of my ball jointed dolls, just because I have not drawn a, like his human form yet, um, at least not as a finished drawing, so I definitely wanted to do that. And uh, he does have an unnatural eye color for sure. Um, when I made his eyes, obviously they're light purple and the pupils are dark purple, which is unnatural in itself. But then I decided to make them sparkly. So when I made his eyes, I put glitter. Um, so they are really pretty and I love the way they look on his doll. Um, so I definitely knew I wanted to try and recreate that in the drawing, which uh, I, I think it turned out really nice. Um, so I just did a really simple drawing for the rest of this um, because I wanted the focus to be kind of on his face and his eyes and everything. Um, so I just drew him in the outfit that he's wearing right now and that was another nice thing about having his character as a doll. I could just bring him right over to my desk and use that to uh, be my reference photo. And then for drawing his hair, I used um, this like pen. I think it's called, uh, actually I don't remember what it's called, but it's one of the Fire Alpaca pens. And um, it was it would, worked perfectly for his hair because I was having a little bit of trouble trying to draw it by hand. Um, but then when I used that pen, it was perfect and got the right look. I just had to turn it up to be like the right thickness. And there we go. I was good to go. Um, and then because I only have drawings of him as a sparkle dog, I don't have any of his human form, I guess. Um, I kind of just had to guess for all the colors. Um, so they might change when I draw him again, just because like eventually I would like to take an actual picture of him and color pick it properly and everything. But, uh, yeah, so ho hopefully I think I got them pretty accurate just from looking at the doll beside me um but yeah <clears throat> one of these days i will probably make a bunch of finished references for them hopefully for next art fight um because i would like to have those characters be up on there but uh i always procrastinate to the last minute for my character references so uh that may end up being a little while uh and then for shading i just used purple because his colors are all purple and i thought it would be a good way to tie everything together. Um, when I first made him, or like when I was first designing uh, like how his human form would look because I didn't design the original, it was an adopt, um, I definitely tried to make everything as purple as possible, but uh, now I'm definitely branching out and giving him a few more colors. Um, I definitely have leaned into like a space galaxy aesthetic for him and uh, I think it looks really cool. And I have been working on some other outfits for him in my spare time. And so, yeah, that was pretty much all of day six. Day 7's prompt was crossover. For this one, I decided to draw Riley, who is the main character of one of my stories, and Sunny, who is the main character of the other one. Uh, drawing this made me realize that they've actually got quite a few similarities, which is kind of funny in a way because their stories are pretty different. But they're both werewolves, um, their designs have a couple things in common, and they both really like animals, which is why I drew them with Sunny's two pet horses, Toast and Pancake, who are based on some 18 inch doll horses that I got for really cheap. Um, now, I do have to say, the horses did not turn out great. Um, <laughs> I had references, and I brought two briar horses to my desk to look at, um, but they still ended up looking kind of weird. Uh, but horses are known for being hard to draw, and I had good luck drawing them during Art Fight this year, and I used briar horses for those references too, so I guess I can't be too mad. Um, <laughs> this was the first time I drew Sunny's human design, 
So again, I didn't have any colors to pick from, like as in another drawing, so I had to kind of guess with them and figure that part out. Um, but they turned out good anyways, and I'm happy with how they look. When it comes to the background, again, I went super simple with this one since I knew you wouldn't be able to see most of it anyways, and I am trying to focus on drawing the characters for the most part when it comes to this challenge. Uh, backgrounds are definitely something I would like to improve on, but like I said, that's something I'll probably work on in the future. And so for now, I'm just using a few colors and a little bit of detail, but not going really overboard with it at all. This drawing is one of my favorites so far. Um, like I said before, I had a bit of trouble sketching out the idea, and I had some trouble with Riley's face too. Um, but once I was happy with that, it just came together super quickly, and I was glad to have, have the opportunity to draw my main characters. They are definitely some of my favorites, um, and I could see myself drawing more crossovers with these two. I think it would be nice if they hung out more often. Uh, I think they would get along really well, uh, to be honest. They're both really friendly and nice, and uh, yeah, it would be cute. <laughs> Also, I think it would be fun to have Roxy, Jason, and Sam meet. Um, they were the second idea I had for a crossover, actually, just because they're my main emo and scene kind of characters, and I think it'd be cool if they all went to Hot Topic together or something. Um, Sam might be a little bit uh, interesting to hang out with, though. I don't know if you'd want to do that, because she, she's kind of crazy. Um, but I think I think it would still be fun anyways. Um, other than that, though, um, maybe Polaris and Alex, since they're also main characters in their own stories and friends to the main characters. And I just think it'd be funny if they got together and shared stories of all the trouble their friends keep getting into. You know, Sunny keeps bringing animals home, and that's a main part of her story, um, because she ends up bringing home an opossum who ends up being really important to the story. And then Riley, you know, he's dealing with the whole becoming a werewolf thing and there's a whole bunch of trouble that goes along with that and yeah I just think it'd be funny if they both got together and was like oh man look at all this trouble they're getting into it'd be kind of cute but uh yeah that was day seven day eight's prompt was a dead meme and the video suggested that this could be an opportunity to draw like an art meme that you haven't seen in a while and for me that was the kind of cartoon network color palette challenge um so i decided to draw it with lexi because her colors are the most similar to it anyways and i lost the sketch and the line art for this one so it's just coloring and shading unfortunately um but it was still a lot of fun and the colors worked perfectly for her so it wasn't that difficult to be honest um, but I think it turned out really cute and uh, to keep with the challenge I actually ended up shading this with black and then only highlighting it with white um, and I did add a little bit of airbrushing of pink so I don't know if that's cheating or not but I think it's okay and then I just did like a really simple pattern for the background with some of the brushes that are already in Fire Alpaca um, so yeah this one was just really fast well, for me, it wasn't fast because my computer was giving me trouble that day. Um, but as for the drawing and everything, it, it's just a simple one. Nothing crazy going on. I've drawn something like this before in my sketchbook, so it's kind of a similar idea. Um, but yeah, that was day eight. The prompt for day 9 was childhood video game, and honestly this one gave me a lot of trouble. Uh, I didn't really play many video games as a child, and honestly I still don't. I only really play Animal Crossing and Minecraft, and even then only occasionally. Um, but as a kid, the one video game I was really into was Skylanders. And since I'm trying not to draw fan art of other stuff for this Cringetober, what I decided to do was draw my character Sam in an outfit inspired by one of my favorite Skylanders, Roller Brawl, who is this roller skating vampire girl. She's really cool. Um, so I gave Sam a similar helmet design, and I gave her these bracelets, kind of inspired by the ones Roller Brawl's got. And I also gave her long nails because Roller Brawl's got these 
claw kind of weapons. There was making the wheels into these saw kind of things, which, you know, in real life would be super impractical and impossible to skate in. But uh, thankfully, this is a drawing, so we can make it as weird as we want. Uh, looking at the drawing itself, honestly, I am kind of neutral on it. Like, it turned out good. I don't think it's bad or anything. It's just not my favorite. It's kind of boring. Um, I think I should have taken more inspiration from Sam herself because she usually wears a lot more dramatic outfits than this one. Um, but I was so focused on making it inspired by Roller Brawl and, like, having it readable that way that I didn't add a lot of details, which I think would have made this a lot better. So... I think it's fine. Um, probably not going to draw this outfit again, but I do really like the skates and they are so silly that I think Sam would definitely wear them. Um, so those might make an appearance again someday. It was actually kind of funny because after I drew this, I accidentally ended up finding the Skylanders fandom on Pinterest, which I'd always kind of guessed there was one out there, but this was the first time I came across it. So it's really cool to know that there are other fans out there. Uh, I did replay one of the games kind of recently, and obviously it's a kid's game, but it's still pretty fun, and I had a good time, and I played it with my younger sibling, and they really liked it, um, and I've always loved the character designs, and nothing's changed there. The figures were one of my first big collections, and I have them all still, and they're just, they're really cool to look at, and I actually brought my roller crawl into my room on my desk to look at her outfit and make sure I got all the details right and everything. And finally, day 10, the last prompt of the video. This one was ship dynamics, and so the idea was to kind of draw your favorites. Um, what I ended up doing was picking three, and they're some of the canon couples in my stories. Um, I was originally going to draw these in my usual style, but I was running behind that day because I was trying to get started on editing, so I decided to draw these as really simple little chibi drawings instead. So the first one I drew was Laura and Michael, which I described as just some guy and the person that thinks they're the coolest person ever. Uh, and I drew all of these in little hearts, and in this one I had a little drawing of Sky looking all confused because, like I said, Michael's just some guy. I mean, he's a little bit weird, he believes in ghosts and stuff, but honestly, in comparison to some of my other characters, I think he was pretty normal, which is why it's so funny to me that Laura is just kind of starstruck by this guy uh, in the start of the story. They're not together. Laura really likes him, but she's scared to talk to him or anything because she's so anxious and she thinks he's so cool. Um, the second couple I drew was Josephine and Gabriel, who I described as terrible people who only love each other. And I love this one because it's just so funny to me um, because Josephine and Gabriel are so much trouble for the main characters that are dating, the ones that are just super wholesome and love each other so much. These two are so cute. Um, for this drawing specifically, I went with like the older emo style of drawing, if that makes any sense, um, just because Jason is emo for sure. And I guess Roxy's more seen, but either way, it felt really Really fitting and yeah there's not much to say here it's a really simple dynamic nothing out of the ordinary but I just really love when characters are super nice and love spending time with each other and like I said they really are best friends and it's just it's so cute It's actually pretty funny to me because usually when I'm watching a movie or a show and there's like relationship stuff going on, I have any plans for any like romantic interests for my main characters. I think it's more fun to just give them friends. And besides, Sunny's dealing with cursed opossums and Riley's got the whole just got turned into a werewolf thing going on. They are way too busy to worry about crushes or anything like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those are my next five, I guess, the first ten. Um, I'm actually quite pleased with how I've been able to keep up. Um, I was a little bit behind for these like first 10 days here, um, so I was drawing like two prompts a day to catch up, um, but now I'm pretty much caught up. I might be a little bit behind now because I've had to learn a new editing program and stuff like that, but uh, I'm, I'm okay with it, and I think I might just might be able to keep this up for the rest of the month, so I am very happy with that. And I have liked the drawings for the most part, so that's really good, too. Um, I'm glad I'm making stuff I don't just despise. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Again, these drawings will be on my Tumblr when I have time to post them. 
And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one for days 11 to 15. Bye, guys.